Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This lecture or these slides that I will send to you, these will be uh, around two lectures. So, hala asar anna the total uh, six lectures. Um, those will be the uh, lectures that will be given, inshallah, in the mid sabah uh, shahar, sabah arba. Um, so, um, these three PowerPoints are equal six lectures. There are three supplementary lectures. Uh, this is one credit hour course. So do not worry your little heads about uh, these subjects. Inshallah, you will get only 15 lectures uh, worth of material. Uh, so uh, let us start. So we talked about the genetic diseases, uh, abnormalities, single gene defects, and all those. Um, so um, what we're looking at now is the practice or the uh, well, yeah, the practice of cytogenetics. How can we uh, use uh, laboratory techniques in detecting uh, genetic abnormalities, whether they are single uh, chromosomal disorders? Usually, um, cytogenetics is really inherited inherently able to detect these uh, chromosomal abnormalities. If you want to look for autosomal dominant or often unifactorial illnesses, so autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, you will have to move to more um, single gene detection methods, so maybe sequencing, PCR, things like that. And chromosomal you can, uh, abnormalities, you usually use cytogenetics. Uh, so in this section, we have uh, used a, um, a fluorophore, and this fluorophore is connected to special sequences that are only present on, let's say, chromosome 11 in this case. So when I did this, I had one chromosome painted with these uh, unique sequences that are only unique for chromosome 11. And then the chromosome, the I, I am a diploid, so one of them was painted, the other was also painted, but then this part was not painted, and another chromosome had the rest of the paint on it. What does that tell you? This is a translocation. This yellow here used to be here, and this used to be here. This is a translocation. This is not normal. This usually uh, spells uh, disease. Uh, so, yeah, it usually uh, spells disease. Cancer or something like that. So, uh, what do we detect with cytogenetics? Chromosome structures, methods of chromosome analysis, molecular cytogenetics, chromosome abnormalities, and we will talk about how the nomenclature works. So, if you recall, fertilization is when you have the diploid. So, um, you have the chromosome, one set of the chromosomes comes from the uh, sperm and you have the other set from the uh, ovum. The ovum always carries the X chromosome and then one of these, uh, half the sperm, let's say, carry the Y chromosome and then each parent will contribute one set of genome and offspring cells have two uh, near identical copies. Meiosis and mitosis, back to common video so you can look at that. Um, so, total of 92 chromosomes divided into two daughter cells. The cell cycle is very important to know. What um, uh, things that you really have to look at. So, you have the growth, uh, the first growth period comes before the synthesis period. Synthesis is the synth synthesis of DNA, obviously. So, when do you have to make sure that your uh, DNA is in order before you begin. Is at the time this 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 the the checkpoints are before synthesis. I want to make sure that whatever DNA I have before I copy it is good. So this is one checkpoint, and there's another checkpoint is after I finish. Is there a good point? Is 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 my DNA that I have? Is it the work that I've done? Is it good? And then I keep going, and then this is where the actual uh, mitosis happens. So. Um, so the cell cycle, this is what we just said. 
So uh, I have uh, multiple uh, checkpoints. So the, the, the synthesis period uh, or the cycle, part of the cycle, is where the chromosomes will replicate. So the cytoplasm doubles in the G1. So DNA damage will, will have to, the checkpoint will be have, have to be done here. And then I will, be, I will start uh, synthesizing, replicating my DNA. And then another checkpoint happens. And this is probably the most important one is between the G1 and the S chromosome, the S uh, cycle. So cytogenesis is the study of a chromosome number, structure, function, and behavior in relation to gene inheritance, organization, and expression. So uh, DNA coiling leads to uh, the visible structure of chromosomes. This will also be part of the, uh, this was part of the lectures that I've sent. So you have the DNA, the double helix of the DNA. It is then wrapped around nucleosomes, and these are proteins. And then these nucleosome DNA molecules, strands, will also uh, wrap around uh, each other, making, uh, uh, these are called histones, the histone beads. So uh, they wrap around each other. And this whole thing is a fiber, it's called a chromatin uh, fiber. So this is chromatin with an N. And then you have uh, the chromatin, which loops around together. And then all this together makes your one of your uh, chromosomes. So the primary of, of coiling, and then secondary coiling, Tertiary coiling, nucleosomes form chromatin, and then loops of chromatin fiber form the chromosome. So, um, this is what we just said. This is the histone, the single DNA around the histone, and then the, the nucleosome, then the chromatin fiber, and, and this is all part of the chromosome. This is a very nice figure. Epigenetics is the mechanism of regulating this. As you can see, this is very highly tightly coiled gaining access into this and once gaining access gaining ab ability to read or write uh, is something where epigenetics uh, comes into place epigenetics does not change the sequence but changes the ability to read or write or and other them to try to transcribe this uh, DNA into RNA if it's transcribed then I'm making the protein if it's not transcribed inhibited I'm not making the protein so uh, that is the study of epigenetics. So histones can be modified by enzymes. One of the most common modifications is, is methylation. This is very important. Methylation adenine methane group is a, is a way how to if you is a way uh, of you inhibiting uh, certain genes. So you add this methyl group, and this gene is no longer uh, transcribed. So this tr slows or even halts uh, transcription. Hello, chromosomes. Chromo is a colored body chromosome. A chromosome of eukaryotes have been the traditional subject of cytogenetic analysis. Um, and then here you have a difference between chromatin, the fiber material that makes the chromosome, and chromatid. A chromatid is when you are replicating a, chromo a chromosome. Uh, sister chromatids uh, uh, come. Uh, uh, are, are synthesized. So while you are synthesized, it's still one chromosome, but you are in the middle of synthesizing it. So you are making two sister chromatids at that point. So uh, once the chromosome is uh, synthesized, it will be uh, made of two sister chromatids. Um, so this is the, these are the sister chromatids. Uh, so the central, uh, the, this is the chromosome. The centromere, uh, the telomere is at the uh, either end, and the chromatid is the whole thing. So at the end, you have we d define the chromosome into two parts. Usually, the, it's not equally distributed. At the end, uh, the centromere is always in the same location for each chromosome. Then chromosome one has a centromere in the same area, so it has an equal always uh, the same length of a short arm and a, and a long arm. Short arm and P or petite, uh, I don't like French, but this is a French word. And the Q arm is the uh, long arm. Uh, so this is uh, the structure of the chromosome. At the telomere end, you have many repetitive sequences. And this protects the degradation of the uh, chromosome. 
So uh, if you recall from your biology, if you have a telomerase which caps this area with more of these repetitive sequences, and as you lose them more, that is uh, aging. So repetitive uh, satellite sequences can happen uh, anywhere, uh, probably usually around the microsatellites, so they can happen in the centromere or in other parts as well. So what are telomeres? Like the rest of the chromosome, uh, are the sequence of DNA, chains of chemical codes, there's nothing more than we just uh, said. So you have a centromere, this is what a chromosome might look like after you stain it, Matam with a Gimza stain. So you have a head and tail uh, between the short and long arm, and the centromere is in the uh, middle. So uh, DNA sequence for telomere, other than the tandem repeats, uh, that repeated about between 800 to 1600 times in each uh, telomere. So uh, seals a chromosome and retain chromosome integrity, and this is maintained by the enzyme telomerase. And reduction in telomerase activity is, as we said, is um, related to aging and cell death. So visualizing metaphase chromosomes, we are visualizing metaphase chromosomes when we halt the uh, um, the chromosomes while they are replicating. We halt them in metaphase. We can use uh, methylene uh, PHA phytohemagglutinin, which stimulates cell division, and then once the cells are divided, we add colchicine. This is basically uh, colchicine. This arrests the cells uh, that are replicating. Once they are in metaphase, they stop metaphase. Give it a little bit of time, all the cells will be will stop at uh, metaphase, and then you can add a fixative, uh, three to one methanol to acetic acid, whatever you want. There are other yeah, many guides to do what how you can fix. Once you fix these cells, now we have fixed the chromosome, and then you can. Visualize it. That's basically the basis of it. Basis of how we can visualize chromosomes. في إشي ميتافيز نستخدمه أحيانا في أشياء في تلفيز ممكن نستخدمه. Now we will get to it. So um, so you take the blood, you add PHA, you stimulate growth, and then تخليه يشتغل كم يوم عبر ما so the cells grow. You add colchicine. Um, transfer to cell tubes and then you can centrifuge and then fix and then uh, you know can maybe then uh, maybe lyse the cells or whatever and then once the the, the um, chromosomes are fixed then you can use a microscope and visualize the images and you can use software to digitize and then analyze it further so basic cytogenetic examination F1 is interphase, uh, between interphase and uh, metaphase. So um, uh, each phase region usually has um, has an application, but metaphase is what we usually use to visualize a chromosome. There are other disorders that you can use with an interphase for, or other parts of the cell cycle. Um, so you can. Um, uh, visualize different types of, of illnesses or abnormalities. In metaphase, you can stain the chromosomes. This is where the chromosomes are there, uh, at, at their longest and then more, uh, the clearest. And then you can, you can use different uh, types of stains so you can see what you can what you want. So gold staining, the outline of the chromosomes. Ginza stain, this is the most common one that is used. So it gives you um, the outline plus these dark and light bands inside the um, the chromosome, and this this is كل كروموسوم لكل بني آدم لما تعملوا هذا السير راح تطلع نفس الشكل. We will say why. So it's not uh, random or haphazard. And then um, R banding is the reverse of the Gimza stain. There's a C banding which shows shows you the centromere only. Uh, Q banding. Uh, which is similar to the G banding, but it's uh, fluorescence, um, and then silver and uh, nor as well. So these are bands in uh, human chromosomes. لما قسم الكروموسومز قسموهم حسب الطول. So أطول واحد هو كروموسوم one, and then كروموسوم two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. حتى لا توصل لحديث كروموسوم twenty two is probably the the smallest, and then you have the sex chromosomes. But when you the centromere, centromere is a different part for each chromosome, but it's always, like all Adam, 
uh, at chromosome 10 will be the same place, at chromosome 11 will be the same place, and then as we said, the banding pattern with the gingestine will also be the same. فمعناته بقدر أنا أفحص بني آدم هذا فلان وأبعت له مثلاً ل مثلاً لطبيب أو ل diagnostician whatever. I can say okay look at chromosome seven and long arm band two. Is it there? Is it not there? Is it whatever? Right. So that now we have an ability to create nomenclature, an ability to standardize this whole process. So, banding. Why are they band? Why are there banding? Why are there um, uh, light bands and and dark bands? At the time, a light band is a GC. Nucleotides G and C. It is a GC rich area. GC rich area is usually at the gene rich area. فالمناطق فيها تجينات عادة بكون فيها استخدام للGC أكثر من غيرها. Uh, these area when you use the gym to stain they will stain lightly they will not take up a lot of the stain so this is very important these are gene rich GC rich areas GC rich areas are uh, early replicating Adatan their melting temperature is higher um, and then uh, fluorescence with G specific fluorochromes uh, early replicating is important uh, these are the really the important things that you really want to know <coughs> uh, now the dark areas are AT rich. These are Adatan late replicating, gene poor, and usually are um, regulatory areas. So these areas regulate these areas. It's, they don't have many genes, but these areas are responsible for the regulation of the rich areas. Uh, this is again because they're regulating. This is where you will find a lot of the mini satellites in here. HMG1, if you recall this from your biochemistry, and uh, non-histone proteins bound to AT rich areas uh, as well. So, um, the main types of chromosome bands, uh, the G is chipset induced chem sustain, the Q, AT specific chlorochrome, reverse bands, centromere bands, centromere regions, darkly stained. This is everything that we just uh, mentioned. Um, DAP is a type of stain that usually usually predates to the nucleus. Um, okay, enough to, to to know here. So um, this study study so this is the G banding and other traditional techniques. How do scientists read the chromosomes? So as we said, size, banding pattern, and then the centromere position, and then we know which chromosome we're talking about according to the length of the chromosome. And has been some So once you want to get them. You arrange them according to length, and the longest one is chromosome 1, and then up to chromosome 22. So, once you look at them in metaphase, they always have to be in metaphase, not in other phases. Otherwise, it will not be standardized. Some of the chromosomes are metacentric. That means their uh, uh, centromere is usually very close to the middle or is in the middle. So, you have a short arm and a long arm that are usually almost equal. by the Banding عادة وأحيانا في واحد يكون في أقل يعني أطول شوي من الثانية. Sub metacentric where you have um, it predilects or the 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 centromere is very uh, moved towards one area than the other. So you have a a, a very clear short arm and a very cl clear uh, long arm. And acrocentric is where uh, the entire chromosome almost the entire chromosome is one arm. And at the telomere end, where you find the centromere, so the centromere and telomere are very close to each other. That's an acrocentric. This is submetacentric, and this is a metacentric. Now, um, chromosomes uh, in general, uh, size, shape, and a number. Um, so pair of homologous uh, metacentric chromosomes. So this is where their uh, chromosomes. These are the two sister chromatids. They are bound at the centromere, so these are homologous chromosomes. They're the same chromosomes. This is another chromosome, but these are non-homologous chromosomes. Because they have the chromosome one, and this is chromosome four or whatever, right? Now four and four are um, homologous chromosomes. These are sister chromatids. F1. These are sister chromatids, and these are non-sister chromatids. The chromatids from two different uh, chromosomes. Uh, obviously, these will be homologous chromosomes, like we said, and these are. 
So DNA replication chromatids, ما في شيء هون ما حكينا. Chromosomes are seen in metaphase during cell division. So you have a centromere which joins the system chromatids, and then you have essential for chromos. It is essential for the chromosome segregation at cell division. And hundreds of of kilo of kilo base pairs of repetitive DNA. Some non-specific. Some are chromosome specific. So short arm and the Q arm. The telomere, DNA and protein cap, and choose the replication to tip tethered to nuclear membrane, and provide terminal stability to the chromosome. And then you have the light band replicate early, GC rich, transcriptionally active, obviously. Less condensed chromatin, أكيد. I want more access to this area. And بالعكس الجي بانding راح يكون مختلف. High resolution banding. This these are earlier techniques, and then later techniques have provided even better banding. So in the 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 same band, but with high resolution, you can see that it's actually actually made up of more bands. So uh, um, let's see, this is uh, human chromosome 4 at uh, varying uh, resolutions. So, to, to you can see here, um, this is the long band Q21 chromosome, uh, or, or, or band 2 1, then this is with more uh, resolution band to 1.1, and then more resolution, you can even more further divide it. So this is مثلا chromosome seven band two أي أول band هاي تاني band so chromosome seven Q arm the long arm band two and then take مثلا sub band one and then when higher resolution chromosome seven the long arm band two هاي band two اللي هي كانت هون band two and then this is band one two one point one two to 1.2 to 1.3 and then you can further divide it more and more so let's uh, look at this um, further so مثلا, this is chromosome 3 it is made up of uh, P arm and Q arm each one is made of band 1, 2 and 3 band 2 is made out of two sub bands 1 and 2 so this one will be chromosome 3 P and then sub band 2 عفوا band 2 sub band 2 so this is 3 3p 2 2 if you divide it further with higher resolution this will be 3p 2 2.1 مثلا and this is gives you is pretty simple so مثلا I think this is cystic fibrosis gene مثلا um, and then all the, so you can tell someone okay I found this specific gene and this specific site in the chromosome that has this abnormality and this is how we can know مثلا كل الناس عندهم cystic fibrosis gene the gene is present in this area um, has so and so abnormality هلا شو هو karyotyping karyotyping is uh, I'm trying to find the entirety a readout of the entirety of the chromosome uh, of the chromosomes of, of uh, uh, an individual. So I can look at all his chromosomes and then I can say, okay, well, he has um, 46 chromosomes, uh, all chromosomes look the same, look obviously normal, blah, blah, blah. So you can have a, a quick readout of uh, the, the macro structure of the uh, chromosomes. So chromosomes are obviously made of 22 autosomes and uh, six chromosomes are the 23rd pair. Um, so, uh, adult autosomes, and then you have the two sex chromosomes. Now, chromosomes are first lined up according to size, as we mentioned, and then are lined up after staining by a drawing of a horizontal line across uh, the centromere. And usually, this is done. Um, so uh, defining a chromosomal uh, location, so you have, مثلا, this is chromosome 17, and then you are doing this uh, reading as you know. All of this has been standardized by this uh, body, the ISCN. 
so International System for Human Cytogenetic Nomenclature. Uh, cytogenetics, the structure of chromosomes, uh, 2n uh, equals 46. Is a kind actor or la aqal? So now this is how I read someone's chromosome. This is this is a female, for I do a karyotype for her, and I found I find that she's 46 xx. Macro, يعني, on, a, on, a, on a large level, on a, on a يعني, big picture, she is normal. Male is like this. So um, that tells you one of the early ways of looking at um, uh, chromosomal disorders. So, uh, in a quick review, as you are making this, these are the germ cells in the gonads. So, the germ cells in the gonads, uh, are, when they are near the basement membrane and they are stem cells, they usually are uh, still have not become full gametes. So, um, first, there you have a single stranded of 2N chromosomes, then you replicate this in interphase, and then you have 4N. So you have 2n and 2n is two double stranded. And then you have meiosis 1. You segregate one of these two copies in each cell. This is meiosis 1. And then you have this homologous pairs are separated. And then meiosis 2, where you can have each copy. And then this is where you have four haploid gametes. So now we have, this is methylene sperm or an ovum, where it has only one set of the original two sets. So, um, Obviously, this is the same. The end is 46 for us, so it would be 23, and then each haploid gamete would end up with 23. Um, so we have uh, meiosis is, is two stages. very important. The first stage uh, and is in DNA replication is the interface, where you make full copies of your pairs, like of pairs of uh, chromosomes. Meiosis is when you have a homologous pairs. So we had a one pair. Now we have duplicated it. You take it there, and then you split each chromatid in half. Each chromatid is sent into one area, and this uh, they are separated, and they become one copy by themselves, and these are the gametes. Another way to look at it. But um, this is actually a way of how the larger chromos chromosomal disorders can happen. In meiosis 1, where you made your double copies, and then you sent them both in meiosis 1, and now you are making meiosis 2. What happens if one of the chromosomes, chromosome 7 or 21 or whatever, has not separated? So this cell has an extra copy of chromosome 21. This cell has no copies of chromosome 21. Now, the father here will bring in one copy. Okay. So what happens when the chromosomes were fine, but only this chromosome, let's say it's chromosome 21, has uh, when it was undergoing um, meiosis uh, 2, it did not um, it had, it can, it also it can happen in meiosis 1. But at this point, when you are supposed to split them, into two uh, sets. So, for example, there was a gap. No, so the joining was too strong. For example, on this chromosome, or something, and both sets of chromosome twenty-one are in this cell. طلعت هاي البويضات. هلا هاي إجا هاي البويضات لقحت. Now, this the father has donated one set of chromosome twenty-one. So this will be forty-five chromosomes, missing one chromosome. This will be forty-seven. Missing, uh, Afwan, has an extra set of chromosomes. This is a trisomy and this is monosomy. So this is basically how this whole thing happens. This can happen at the, at, at the higher end, مثلاً. The can, when you split the whole set, 46, مثلاً, you split the, the, all, all the, at meiosis 1, all of them went into one cell. So all of these will have monosomies. All of these will be lacking, all the entirety of this line will lack one, chromosome 18. All of these will have monosome 18. All these will have because when if when لما تقحوا الأبرة حتجيب مع واحدة تاني واحدة بس. هل ممكن أبي جيب تنتين؟ بالعادة لا. بس ممكن إذا يعني this is very rare. إنه الأب هذا uh, uh, this problem here, and then بتلاحقه بيضة that is missing. This is when you have more chromosomes from the father. Is this normal? Usually much closer to normal. Yes. 
the, يعني the resulting uh, fetus. Um, so, um, so in this way, you have now two sets. When you go to undergo meiosis two, you have all of these will have two sets. The, the resulting cells all will have trisomies, three sets of the chromosome. All the resulting these will have two sets. Of, so half of them will have monosomies and half will have trisomies at meiosis one. And these half of them will have will be normal, and the other half will either have 25% monosomies or 25% trisomies. That's basically and شرحت لكم chromosomal disorders by this slide. لما نحكي عن chromosomal disorders راح نعيد ونزيد بهاي النقطة بس. So what are the autosomal disorders? The very common aneuploidies أو الاختلاف أو الاختلال بأرقام الكروموسومات is a trisomy 21. Three sets of chromosome 21. This is Down syndrome. It is not normal to have an extra set. This actually المفروض نتفكر فيها إنه I have an extra set. خليها شو يعني شو شو المشكلة? This actually causes a problem regulation of of these uh, genes. So you have problems with the genes that are present on chromosome 21. Which one do I use? Which one do I turn off? Uh, do I turn off this one? This more. So you have a, usually a, the same syndrome over and over. Trisomy 18 Edward syndrome is a, a, a least common one. And Patau is the least. But these are three, all three of them are very common. Deletion. When you have a deletion of a part of a chromosome, a chromosome, a short arm of chromosome 5, this is called cry uh, Structural abnormalities, micro deletion syndromes, digeor syndromes, that's what we're talking about. This is a uh, micro deletion uh, chromosome 21, uh, Q11, uh, Prader Willi syndrome, Engelman syndrome, paternal or maternal, uh, micro deletion at the chromosome 15. The Kanjai male father has a one set of chromosomes with the Kanjai mother. And then you have trinucleotide expansion, methan Huntington disease, Friedrich ataxia, myotonic dystrophy. All these are expansion of certain trinucleotide disorders, trinucleotide uh, sequences over and over. If you have more um, than a set num known number, then you will have a dis disorder. Um, and then you have uh, aneuploidies that involve the sex chromosomes. You have the common ones are Turner syndrome, where you have a monosomy of chromosome X. So, high female and X one, So, uh, probably. Um, Turner syndrome Klein filter where we have XXY and then you have XYY syndrome these are very uh, common you have structure abnormalities these are actually also common fragile X syndrome trinucleotide expansion and then you have a sex reversal deletion translocation so what are the International Society of Chromosomal uh, Nomenclature have T translocation, Q long arm, P short arm, R is a ring, deletion of dicentric, tricentric, isochrome, isochromosome, an inversion, a deletion, a translocation, when a translocation. Um, uh, derivative, duplication, heterochromatine, insertion, maternal, paternal, I get translocation T. So, um, uh, these are usually the uh, nomenclature for these um, gene disorder or chromosomal disorders. So, for example, I told you this, this person has a 46XX del 5P. What does that mean? He has 46 chromosomes, or she has 46 chromosomes, uh, two chromosome uh, X, but there is a deletion at the short arm of five chromosome 5. هذا بعثت لك مثلا السيتوجينيتك ريبورت حكيت لك انه this person has 46XX T21 Q21 Q21 شو معناته؟ So this is a female 46 chromosomes she has a translocation from chromosome 2 to chromosome 4 4 from where the origin is from the long arm band 2 1 to the long arm chromosome 4 also band 2 1 so a normal male will be 46XY, female is 46XX. So another one, uh, 46XY, T48, P16, uh, Q22. So this one, what happens, what, what is going on here? This is a male with two separate translocations. One from 4 to 8, one from 4 to 9. 
من المنطقة الأوريجن اس بي 16 تو كيو 21 وير فروم كيو 31 تو كيو 31 So, uh, cytogenetic next is uh, fish. Um, I will go over here quickly. Uh, these molecular techniques about fish and uh, PCR. So, um, uh, fish is fluorescent in situ hybridization. These are different fish probes, uh, centromeric probes, uh, chromosome specific unique sequence probes. Reverse painting, multicolor spectral karyotyping, PCR techniques. هذا كله راح يكون نهاية المحاضرة مع flow cytometry. هون راح أحكي بطريقة general and in a more detail in a two separate recordings that I will send to you alongside this lecture. Yes, you need to know everything in here, but everything is basically more detail. So, يعني at the end you need to know everything that are in the three slides here, the three PowerPoints that are sent to you. So what is um, uh, fish? Basically, عبارة عن أنا في بدور على sequence DNA موجود. مثلا هاي specimen DNA. بدور بدي أشوف هذا sequence موجود ولا مش موجود. That's basically what it is. So كيف بعرف أنا بما إنه DNA can uh, bind specifically to each to its complementary sequence. شو أنا بجي بسوي؟ بدي أشوف هذا السيكونس موجود ولا لا؟ بروح بعمل أنا كومبليمنتري سيكونس مثلا A G C A G G C T A T بجيب الكومبليمنتري سيكونس T C C G whatever and then بحط عليها فلوروفور لون بحط على السي على ال على السبيسيمن و and then I wait for it to bind I try to wash it off if it washes off معناته هاي مش لإلها if it doesn't wash off it is bound it is strongly bound معناته it is إلها معناته رابطة معها بروح بحط فلوريسنس بشوف انه هذا الفلور فلور فور تبع موجود ولا مش موجود اذا موجود بدوي مش موجود ما بدوي مثلا اخضر احمر اصفر whatever I want and this can tell you the presence of a specific sequence of uh, DNA زي ما وجدتكم بداية المحاضرة باول سلايد that's basically what uh, fish is so بتجيب هاد DNA you denature it Denature ish, تذكر denature ish. You give, you put a high temperature, and then the two strands will break apart. This is called denaturing, and then you hybridize with your probe, and then you look and you bring the 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 probe here, مثلا, and then probe من هون with with sample من هون تحطه مع بعض إذا موجودين بتضوي مش موجودين ما بتضوي ومن هاي بتطلع مليون شغلة شو تقدر تطلع مثلا is if a specific sequence that is normal موجود ولا مش موجود. If there is a sequence that is abnormal, موجود ولا مش موجود. If there is a sequence of 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 a, of a normal gene, موجود بس بعد أكثر من abnormal. مثلاً بدل ما أعطيك ضوء واحد أعطيك ثلاث أربع ضوء. معناته there is multiple copies and this is not normal. مثلاً بدل ما أعطيك ضوين أعطيك ضوء واحد. معناته this is أقل من normal, right? Uh, you can uh, color the entire chromosome. زي ما وجدتك بالبداية. And then you can see translocations. You can see micro deletions. هذا أصغر من هذا مثلاً. So these are multiple applications of fish. Again, هذا كله بالديتيل موجود بالمحاضرة راح أبعث لكم إياها مع هذا supplementary. So advantages of interface fish. This is where we use interface. We don't use metaphase, but in this there are advantages for for fish in in interface. We can they they do not require culturing and simulating division to get metaphase spreads. Uh, uh, high number of cells, مثلاً مئتين خمسين can be analyzed microscopically, and you can monitor recurrent or residual disease, مثلاً bone marrow transplant patient, مثلاً metaphase fish. هو أنا كنا متطلع مثلاً chromosomal regions or whole chromosomes, painting of the entire chromosome, telomeric and centromeric probes, مثلاً مثلاً هون طلع مثلاً هون جيب أنا chromosome, and I حط لونته كل لون أخضر. With these specific sequences, one or two will be yellow. For example, this chromosome eight, this chromosome twenty-one. If I have chromosome twenty-one, three points. What does it have? Trisomy, right? It has three copies, separate copies of chromosome twenty-one. Blue from here, and then I can look at the entirety of the chromosomes as well. For example, these two are yellow, and these two are yellow with each other. These two are blue here, right? You can do this fancy. هذا كثير ما بيعملوا اللي اللي بيعملوا انه كثير غالي ممكن تلون الانتايرتي اوف ذا كروموسومز اند ذن يو كان لوك ات ذيم 
uh, and then you can see مثلا tiny مثلا with, with the, يعني هذا كله تستخدم ثلاث اربع عنوان بعدين تحطهم باعداد مختلفه على كل كروموسوم فلما تيجي تلونهم بالسوفت وير بعطيك هذا اصفر هذا برتقالي هذا احمر يعني هيك انت تلونهم بالسوفت وير يعني Uh, this type of analysis can be used to detect abnormalities and affect multiple chromosomes. هذا uh, الحكي تكون يابش بي. This is sky. Um, تمام. Uh, these are a bit more advanced. مثلاً مثلاً ال 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 B cell receptor مثلاً أو هو أنا بتسأل بشوفه مثلاً إذا كانوا جنب بعض مثلاً uh, here. مزقين في بعض ولا مش مزقين في بعض. You can see you can look at uh, actual uh, um, uh, مثلا geography here. If they are close to each other, that is not normal. مثلا المفروض يكونوا بعاد عن بعض. إذا كانوا جنب بعض يصير لونهم أصفر أحمر وأخضر. For that means there is a translocation مثلا. Um, مثلا here you can detection of dicentric, tricentric, tetracentric ring chromosome here and the centromeric probe. I have to choose مثلا. Uh, at the centromere, you have lots of uh, center uh, ring formations, which is abnormal. Uh, you can detect those with probes, fish probes, that are بس موجودين على centromere. مثلا B, أعد برجيك مثلا derivative chromosome 16 here, and then you have from مثلا a certain area translocation of a whole chromosome painting from chromosome 2 to chromosome 16 مثلا here. You can see an entire uh, uh, translocation. C هون حكيت لك يعني مثلا detection of مثلا ABL with uh, B cell receptor gene fusion fusion in interphase and metaphase so this has been fused these two genes have fused together which is abnormal uh, here مثلا you can see diagnostic use of certain probes for detection of two fusion signals and a cryptic and loss of مثلا signal You can see, مثلاً, there are multiple signals. There's a fusion signal. يعني ما بدي ما بدي تعرفش تدخلوا كتير بهالط يعني إنه تعرفوا تفاصيل هاي كلها. بس now you are you are seeing, you know, there are so many applications. Fusion. مفروض يكون جنب بعض بس صاروا بعاد عن بعض. كانوا بعاد عن بعض صاروا جنب بعض. كانوا اثنين صاروا ثلاثة. كانوا ت كانوا واحد. كانوا مثلاً مفروض يكونوا أربعة صاروا ثلاثة. مفروض كانوا يعني كل هذا geography أو يعني location number. And quality of the signal, all these things can give you applications of fish. Um, now, better to study on this. So these are different methods to detect gene translocation. All the fish, as we talked about, for example, they were here, here, and here, and they were mixed together. They were mixed together. Or, for example, they were mixed together. Two mixed together. The probes, one was mixed with one, one was mixed with the other. Meaning, these were red, 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 So this is one way, like we mentioned. Another way you can you can do simple PCR. تعمل sequence مثلاً على الجين إذا بتشوف translocation مثلاً إذا كانوا جنب بعض بيعطوك product. إذا ما كانوا جنب بعض ما بيعطوك product. شو يعني؟ مثلاً إذا كان translocation بين جين A و جين B. هاي جين مثلاً نحكي هذا هون هذا هيك الخط هذا هون هيك جين A. والخط هذا هون جين B. إذا كانوا بعاد عن بعض وأنا عملت بي سي آر أشوفهم جنب بعض بعمل بي سي آر من هون لهون مثلا عملت البي سي آر هلا كانوا بعاد عن بعض البي سي آر will fail because these they are very very far from each other and you will not get هل إذا كانوا جنب بعض وعملت البي سي آر طلع معي برودكت حطيته على الجل طلع معي جل ها ورجاني إنه في عنده ترانسلوكيشن this is one way of doing it هلا في الطريقة أسهل وأسهل is real time بي سي آر ريل تايم بي سي ار زي هذا البي سي ار بس اذا طلع بدل ما انا استنى اعمل اعمل جل بحكي لي مثلا ات سايكل ذيز ار ذا سايكلز اوف ذا بي سي ار از ذا سايكلز جو اذا صار في في برودكت بلش يطلع انه في البرودكت بحكي لك انه البرودكت طلع على على الفتره ذيس از ريل تايم بي سي ار سو ذيز ار اول ثري ميكانيزمز اوف وي هاو وي كان فايند ترانسلوكيشنز سو بالنسبه للريل تايم بي سي ار يعني هذا له محاضرة على حاله again it will be sent to you but يعني basically is nothing more than we just said you have two templates من المريض مثلا you denature them and then the primers that you use to put a nail and if this product is موجود هذا sample موجودة the primers اللي اللي راح يرتبطوا راح يرتبطوا and then they will make more DNA products And then once they use uh, 
these هاي هون دول مثل ground state fluorophore لما يدخل يستخدمه انت جوا ال DNA صار جوا DNA استخدم as you are duplicating or replicating the DNA استخدم هدول ال fluorophore كانوا non excited مثلا لما دخلوا جوا ال صاروا استخدموا جوا ال DNA becomes excited as you are making more and more DNA you see more and more excited state fluorophore and then that uh, shows you انه بصير بس يعطيك هذا اللون اللي طلع مثلا زي هون بصير يطلع مثلا because you are using more and more fluorophore ده معناته في كثير كثير products قاعدين بيطلعوا. There's a DNA probe base this is fluorescent dye based مثلا this is the DNA probe based method where you can use an actual probe بيشبه الفيش مثلا اذا دخل جوا البروب as the prime is extended this fluorophore quench is removed and then this is مثلا quenched floor four this is the excited floor four لما يطلع برا بالعكس هنا بصير excited and then you can detect this as the probe is is used هذا اغلى من هذا هذا استخدامه اكثر مثلا هذا موجود برضه بالمحاضره راح اعطيك اياه real time pcr or qpcr who developed as a precise efficient هذا البي سي ار مثل بيعملوا لل للكوفيد هلا الايام ولا وات ايفر ريسبيرتري بانل اور جي اي بانل اور اني بلاد برودكتس ذات هاف فايروس اور وات ايفر حتى مثلا بكتيريال جين اني ثينج ذات يو وونت كان بي يوزد فور يو كان يوز بي سي ار فور اند اند اوبيسلي يعني قدام شويه ايفن بي سي ار مايت هاف بت ات هاز تو ذا تيست اوف تايم سو فار Uh, so real time PCR combines nucleic acid amplification and detection in one step. But the metamal amplification, but then detection gel, my bad. As the DNA is amplified, see it like loan fluorescence, which you can detect as it is going. That is called real time PCR. Uh, it is possible to quantify the product based on the on the fluorescent detection, and there is no post amplification processing. <coughs> الدي ان اي كل ما بدي فتره اطول من السايكلز لا يطلع معي هذا الكيو تي نمبر اللي بعثوا لكم اياه احيانا بالكوفيد تيستينج مثلا اذا كان الدي ان اي للكوفيد كثير قليل بدي اكثر من سايكل لما اوصل مرحله مثلا ذس از ذا لما يطلع معي انه بوزيتيف معناتها البني ادم ما عنده كثير فايروس اذا طلع معي مثلا من سايكل 8 من البي سي ار مش كل بي سي ار اي دبل ذا دي ان اي If by cycle eight I have enough that have went above the threshold, my can be starting material, starting DNA is very much a lot. So uh, I will detect it earlier. And so how that So this is called the CT value, QT value, whatever value they keep calling it different names, but this is the CT value. أكتر هذا اسم يستخدم هو CT value. Which number of cycle that you got your product? Above the threshold line of detection. تحت الهذا noise. فوق الهذا positive, true. So that's the threshold line is the level of detection at the point which a reaction reaches a fluorescent intensity above a background level before conducting PCR. انت عم تعمل software تحط هالفلورفور تبعك شو الباكراوند فلورفور هو لحاله هيك قديش بيعطيك detection مثلا بيعطيك 15 تروح تحط الجهاز تحكي له تحت ال 15 هو صفر actually فوق ال 15 is positive. بعدين بتبلش المشين اشتغلت هلا اي دبلينج معناته بيكمز از اكشوال بوزيتيفيتي والCQ value CT value whatever is the quantification cycle where the sample have intersected with the threshold line of the ارتفاع زي ما حكينا so uh, that's what I mentioned the quantification this is how you can quantify in what, what, which cycle you have your, QT, uh, your CT value is at كل ما كانت earlier كل ما كانوا معناته the starting material has more DNA Um, applications of fish gene mapping, chromosome identification, aneuploidy detection, sex chromosomes for X-linked diseases, marker chromosome identification, total chromosome analysis, translocation, unique sequence, DNA detection, gene amplification. So these are a lot of fish applications, genetic diagnosis and uh, research. Infectious diseases, methanol malaria, somatic recurrent chromosome detection of translocations. شو مثلا اشياء شو مثلا هون رابيد سكريننج في كومن انيبلويديز وهكذا ذيس از مور مثلا تيومرز ذات يو كان يوز فيش فور ادبستيك تيومر فايبلاستيك تيومر سكيلتل تيومرز تيومر اوف انسرتن ديفرنشيشن ايفن ساركوما 
Well, these are the typical translocations or the fusion transcripts that you can see out of these. And this is in part of molecular pathology. So, the last thing is um, the comparative genomic hybridization, which hybridization they are. Um, so, uh, you want to hear your isolating genomic DNA from samples and then digest the DNA, break it apart, label the patient, and then the control samples, hybridize to microarray, allergic control microarray, and then you can post the hybridization washing, and then you can then scan and analyze your data. Shu yani. This is very similar to, for fish. But this is fish that for multiple genes all at the same time. So I will get wells, very tiny wells that have a specific sequence. So I will get the patient, take from the patient or the patient from the patient, for example, and then. I will break apart all these, all his DNA, or his cells, and then all his DNA. بحط عليهم لون أخضر. بجيب ال الخلايا اللي I'm testing that I think they are cancer cells. بعمل فيهم نفس الحكي وحط عليهم لون أحمر. And then I put them on this these multiple wells. So this is the sample purify. تعملهم transcription, مثلا reverse transcription. مثلا هم كون RNA. تعملهم DNA. You couple it to مثلا مثلا a probe أحمر أو أخضر. You hybridize and wash, and then you scan, and then you can see this ratio of intensity, or you can hybridize to a microarray, and you can see. If they can normal, how much normal is there? And they can abnormal, how much abnormal has bound? هلا أنت ما تد ما ما رح تروح تقرأ ال ال wells واحدة واحدة. شو بتساوي أنت مثلاً? This is again another one. So a normal control, لون أحمر, a tumor, لون أخضر. حطهم مع بعض. You denature them. And then you hybridize them. But then this is normal metaphase chromosome. And then you hybridize them. مع بعض. And then you can analyze. إذا ال abnormal has bound. معناه there is gene loss. عفوا as you as you can see here. You hybridize the DNA. You put it on the other side. You put it on the slide. And you're looking. إذا كان ال 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 normal control موجود معناه there is مش موجود هناك معناته there is loss وبالعكس there is action again بصير انت بعدين uh, if you want more detail look at the uh, supplementary relation uh, and then you can uh, test your uh, theory by looking at uh, this I'm RNA so you looked at the expression you're trying to see the expression of this person مثلا expression of the tumor is higher the expression of the normal per person is طريقة المعينة هيك مثلا خلينا نحكي الاكسبرشن البروتين الفلاني خلينا نحكي هذا البروتين از جروث هرمون اور از از ا سيل سايكل ا سمثينج ذات تيلز ذا سايكل تو كيب جوينج جوينج اند جوينج ريبليكيتينج ريبليكيتينج سو ا تيومر ويل هاف مور اوف ذيس خلينا نحكي مثلا ذيس ذيس جين از ان ابابتوسيس جين جين بحل بيحكي للتيومر بيحكي للخليه يموتي اذا صار في عندك مشكله تيومر راح يكون عنده اقل من هذا ذيس از بيس ذيس از ذا بيسز اوف ات So, but you compare this with the control. Hal, if there was a loss, what does that tell you? That the tumor has lost, for example, the ability for apoptosis, or has gained the ability to keep growing using growth hormones, or growth signals, or entering cell cycle over and over. So you can do that with the mRNA. When you convert all the DNA with reverse transcription, and then you can do multiple wells, and then you can read out. The expression levels between normal and abnormal. وبطلع معك هالألوان وبتشوفها أنت مثلاً. So you can and then على بالresearch مستخدمه إحنا. Over time, over time, over time, we can see مثلاً ال ال الألوان والpatterns تبعها على different genes. مثلاً pattern الفلاني هذا prognosis تبعه منيح. Pattern الفلاني prognosis تبعه مش كويس. وهكذا. So. Excess patient DNA. This is duplication. Loss of patient DNA is 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 deletion. Kulun ahmar. An equal between the two will be yellow. And that's it. I think. How long to cover chromosomal abnormalities? Hadar al jai. Again, I will send you the supplementary lectures because there are some details. Some people don't haven't taken molecular biology or. Or, for example, we're not exposed enough to these parts, which are required, or for you to understand the genetics. 
سو راح اعطيكم المحاضرات هذه عشان كلها مع بعض تو يعني سبلمنت يو اي ثينك تو هير وي ويل ستوب ويعطيكم العافيه